All right, well, hello. Welcome, everybody. And welcome to the fourth annual Sync Up Conference, which is produced by the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation, which, as I'm sure you all know, is the nonprofit organization that owns the Jazz Fest, which, of course, starts today. Um, how many of you have been to Sync Up in the past? All right, lots of repeat customers. Fantastic. Well, thank you all for coming back. I am particularly excited about all of the offerings that we have this year. My name is Scott Ages, and I work for the foundation. I'm director of programs over there. I would like to thank, for all of her incredible hard work, Kia Robinson Hatfield, who is right here in front, who has done so much to help make this thing happen. Um, today is going to be great, which, of course, is why you're all here. Just want to make sure that you all know about everything else that's going on. Um, tomorrow, right here again, we have uh, our focus on the live music industry. So we have Larry Vallon, the executive vice president of AEG Live, will be here on our stage. He's one of the top talent buyers in the world, so it's pretty cool that he's going to be here, along with a whole bunch of other folks who produce festivals in the United States and around the world. So if you're interested in live performance issues, that's going to be a day not to miss. Monday evening, at our offices on Rampart Street, 1205 North Rampart, we are going to have a gallery opening. On your way in, you saw some of that fabulous artwork that's in the lobby. Uh, those are from some of the winners of a worldwide art contest that was sponsored by Creative Allies, who are one of our partners on this event, and Ready Made Magazine. And so they launched a worldwide online contest. I want to thank Greg Lucas for organizing that whole thing. Thank you, Greg. Um, uh, so they, and so a jury was impaneled and they selected winners who are going to have their artworks displayed here at the conference and at our gallery throughout Jazz Fest and the top prize winner won an all expenses paid trip to Jazz Fest from, uh, where'd they come in from? Vancouver. Vancouver, Canada. So we have global travelers. So Greg, give it up for Creative Allies and Greg Lucas. Uh, let's see. So that's Monday evening at 6 o'clock at 1205 North Rampart. So there's going to be beverages and music and a fabulous art gallery opening. So if you're on your way to piano night, maybe, stop by the gallery first. Then here on Thursday evening of next week, we've got an incredibly special thing. Um, you may have heard of the band called Arcade Fire that are performing the, on next Friday at Jazz Fest. Well, they are part of an interactive music video called The Wilderness Downtown. That's very innovative, uh, technology-driven video. And the guy behind that project from Google Innovative Labs, a man named Thomas Gano, is going to be here to talk about the creation of that interactive film and to give us an exclusive screening of it. So 7 o'clock here on Thursday evening. And then we have more conferences Friday morning, Saturday morning. Uh, we, we're grateful to you all for getting up early during Jazz Fest and trying to make these things happen. I know it's a challenge, but we try to make it worth your while. As you know, in the cafe around the corner, there's coffee and Bloody Marys. Anybody managed to find a Bloody Mary before they got here? It's always worth an eye opener. Um, let's see, what else do I want to let you know? Oh, yes. How many of you are planning on going to Jazz Fest? Fantastic. Well, then you will be really glad that you got this because, as you know, we have our own exclusive hospitality at Jazz Fest. Now, this is not enough to get you in. We don't distribute the actual hospitality credentials until you get there, but you have to be here to find out where it is. So, all right. Um, and for those of you watching online, <laughs> cover your ears. Turn off the audio. Um, <laughs> Uh, and we are live, by the way, live set. The New Orleans Digital Media Company is streaming us live. And you can find us from the SyncUp website, syncupconference.com or liveset.com. And by the way, uh, there is Wi-Fi here in the, in the building in case you all want to start tweeting away while we're talking. The network is SyncUp, and the password is JazzFest, all one word. So the hospitality is open from 1 o'clock to 5.30 every day of the festival. There is air conditioning real bathrooms, and free beverages of the adult variety, so, and others as well. So you are all welcome. Come and make connections. Question? You are entitled to one guest, one and one only. Um, the, it is located in uh, what is now called the Derby Building, 
which is that s short, squat, square building right next to the grandstand. It used to be called the OTB building. We're on the ground floor. So as you're looking at it from the track, we're on the ground floor of the Derby building. It's right next to the grandstand. Or if you happen to notice the huge white tent that houses the WWOZ Oasis hospitality area, we're immediately behind that. So just look to the left of the white tent and you'll find us. There's a big pink sign that says sync up. So if you meet somebody here and you're looking for an opportunity to network with them later and have a drink and schmooze and trade business cards and get to know one another, that's what our hospitality is for. Uh, or if you just want to find a place to get out of the heat and have something to drink. Um, so the, uh, those are my announcements. Thank you for coming. Now I would like to introduce our star attractions of this morning. Uh, as you know, this is a very interesting discussion, I think. Um, Mystical is an amazing, amazingly talented rapper who I have seen over many, many years had a hiatus from the music business and found things radically different when that hiatus ended. So we're gonna talk about that and, what, and the challenges ahead. And of course, Wild Wayne, the infamous Q93 disc jockey who is also host of the Industry Influence series of networking sessions is going to conduct this interview. So please welcome Wild Wayne and Mystical. Too kind, too kind. One, two. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all good? Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Pleasure to be here. And uh, I like the adult beverages area. I'm, exactly. I'm going to be there. Exactly. <laughs> Man, you made my mouth dry. Can I have a drink? Yeah. Just water. I don't need no drink right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm on parole. We can't be doing all that yet. <laughs> y'all laughing at my plight? <laughs> all right. Come on now. Hey, well. Hey, uh, I'm sorry. How y'all doing? Uh, hey, now. Yeah. What's up? I'm from New Orleans, definitely. Born and raised. What, Orleans, what, part, what part of New Orleans uptown, are you from? Uptown, you heard? Yeah. Uptown. With them uptown, level right, wall, right. hustle. But I was out the 12th wall, though, yeah. How, how'd that work out? It was good, you know, from the 10th to the 11th to the 12th, you know, that was, that was like my stomping ground. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It was rough, too, but, you know, <laughs> they liked me. I could rap. You know, it got rough. I'll bust a rap. Man, check this one out. Beware! Remember the braid and walk in. Hey, calm down. All right. Woo, thank you, Lord. <laughs> For I, I remember the first time ever hearing about this guy. Um, and they called it mystical mic then. Yeah, it was, that was like a, a, just a prefix to kind of spice up the mic. Right, you know, right. I could I could be magical right now, magnificent, you know, if that would have if it would have swung with that mic. If, if, if it would have got you a deal. Mic, yeah, mystical mic. Yeah, it, it stuck. So. You know, and he was an LL clone at that woo, time. For real, I loved LL Cool J so much. I remember the first time I seen him in uh in Los Angeles at Roscoe's uh, Chicken and Waffle. Mm. I, I said I can't approach him because I was too much of a fan. Because if I'd have went to that man, it was going to be, whoa, LL, hey, 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 hold me, LL, come on, no homo, no homo, LL, come on, man. So I said, nah, I, I opted not to do that. I said, you know, I'm going to control Thank myself. Goodness. And lo and behold, he, he visited Baton Rouge, where I was living at the time. He went to the radio station, and he, he reached out for me. Man, what middle school? And I was like, ooh, I'm in there. I'm in there. Right. I, I caught myself, though, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I had a real. But he was probably a fan by that time, though. Oh, big time. That was so, you know, that how humbling, how how tables humbling turn, was that? Huh? Right, that, right. That that. <sighs> Once again. Yeah. Now, now, I guess we fast forward a little bit. Right. Past Big Boy. That was uh, where you actually started uh, and, and really gained a lot of fame but, uh, locally. But you can't, you, you can't sleep on Parkway Pumper Records. Parkway that's Pumper where, with KLC. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's where I learned how to record a demo at right there. And D'Artagnan. Woo! Uh -huh. I'm talking about smoking, slugged up, uh, sold to Slim. Right, right, yeah, right. Cats like that. It, I mean, how many of y'all heard of Soldier Slim out here from New York? Okay, okay. It's serious. Um, and, and then did the deal uh, with Big Boy Records. Right. And uh, put out uh, one of the biggest, I, I call it a classic. Okay. That Mind of Mystical album. Anybody <laughs> bought the Mind of Mystical album or know about it? Thank you, man. Classic material. <laughs> um, you can still play it today, and it's, it's relevant. Uh, that, that's what I always kind of gauge albums by, how long can they stay relevant. Um, but nonetheless, that, that catapulted you to even right. bigger and better things. Right. Right. Uh, uh, a new label had come up, and they right. were doing some big things right. Right. Uh, with the CEO by the name of Percy Miller, right. uh, a.k.a. Master P. <laughs> Um, at, at, let's, let's go right there for a second. That's 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 mention worthy. Right. You know, not to, not to uh, slight 
any other, you know, of my plight or the things that I experienced. But to see that Master P stage right there when that, uh, hit the dough with nah, that, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> poof. Right. Oh, I'm that one that rappers look up to. When they won't know how to do it, I should be the little bit of what the brand said, you live off a child of two. Pay them a dude, but they'll play. See, when they heard that, I'm talking about they, they ain't know what to do with themselves. Because when I came home from six years, Wayne, six years of, you know, woo, Twilight Zone, six years, y'all. You know, you know how you hold on to your, to you know everything that's that's real and sound in your life through a plight like that. Easy when you let them do it, mm -hmm. you know. So it was, you know, the 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 previous place that I you know endured kind of you know set you, you know, set, made you know, you strong. gave me the strength exactly. So to come home, you know, after six years and do that song on VH1 Hip Hop Honors with right. Master P. Right, right. And kids see their mom and daddy, you know, bucking off a of mystical. Right, like, right, what you, right. My mom and daddy don't act like that. I didn't know that, my mom could do that. <laughs> yeah, that, that means something, man. You right. know, I, I brought that old thing back. You know, it's a certain feeling they feel when, you know, when my music come on, and when I, when I hit the door, I'm going to change the atmosphere. Don't matter what you right. was going through before right. I got there. Right, right, right. What's going to happen thereafter. Mm -hmm. But when I'm there, you're going to have fun. You're going to enjoy yourself. Don't worry about nothing. I got you. I ain't playing with you. And, you know, that's. That's what I put out there. I, de I demand that, you know. So it's it's been a good thing, man. So I would probably equate that what you were just saying to almost like the modern day Rip Van Winkle. Okay. Because when you left, right, things exactly. were one way. Yeah, I, I wasn't asleep though. You weren't asleep. I, 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 you weren't asleep. I, I worked not ain't sleep. And they was yeah. not sleeping on you. No, exactly. You know, but I was I was I was you know I was I was getting some rest though. Right, you know, right, I was right. growing, you know, I had the opportunity, I took that as an opportunity. I, I just wasn't in there, you know, looking at Janet Jackson posters, you know, you know, looking, you know, <laughs> you got to take care of your own self. I wasn't, I wasn't just looking at Buffett the Bible, right, you know, I wasn't right, just, right. I, you know, I was in there, I was in my Bible too, you know, I had to give a Buffett the Bible once in a while, my, you know, I, I, it's right, healthy. Right, right, I got, right, right. Ooh, I'm sweating, I got a fever. Little warm, little warm. Oh, all right, all right, I'm there, sorry, there but, you know. Here I go. Hey, here I go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. So. It's so good to be home. You know, it's just I'm, I'm humbled, y'all. Thank y'all. Six years, man, I left them people with their hands in the air, you know. And you were the giant then. I, you were the I, the biggest of the big at that particular time. I guess you know. Global you, fame. That's not that's not for me to say that. You but know, I, I say it. Yeah, I was having fun. I say it for I you. I was having fun, man. I was having fun. Coast to coast. Right. I remember going on the road with you, like right before all of that stuff happened. Right. Right. I think maybe it was Chicago or somewhere mm -hmm. that we ended up going, and it was just amazing to see right. the fans. Right. Because I'm from New Orleans. Okay. You from New Orleans, so I, we see it one way here. Right. Exactly. But to see folks in a whole nother market just go completely crazy, to see groupies at the hotel, right. Right. Uh, to see the club or, or the venues explode, right. right. and then to, to, I guess, be brought all the way back down to earth is right. a, a very humbling experience. And, I, and I'll put things in perspective to be gone for that amount of time. Um, back then, MTV uh -huh. and BET used to show videos. Uh -huh. That's real talk, yeah. That's they, they don't do that anymore. Yeah, what's, what's going on out here, man? Uh, uh, if you were a studio person and you know music, uh, ADATs were used pretty frequently. Yeah. And, and how about this? If I wanted to get you a beat and I wanted to get it to you fast, I was going to FedEx it to you. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> that, for real, they laughing, but that's that's when I came home. That's where I was at. Let's go, man. Look, I'm I'm ready for my mail to be stacked up with FedEx beats. I'm talking about it's going down. Like, boy, if you don't you don't have an email, boy, what? I said I said you mystical. Know, when, I, when I came home, a little white boy jumped over my head with a skateboard, with an iPod and you know iPad on, and with a skateboard and a backpack, you know, listening to Lil Wayne. I'm like, what the hell? Right, man. How fast is this world spinning, man? You know, so I, I, so I when call, I had to do it, uh, Wayne, I had to tell him I had to double dutch. Yeah. Like them kids do double dutch. I had to come home and do that to get back into life. Wait, hold up. Wait, I thought I know indeed. No, yeah. What you find? Oh, you're a prostitute. I can't do that, baby. All right, here we go. Yeah, we got to. Oh, you guys, don't tell. I ain't going to tell you. I love you, babe. All right, you know, and, and jump back in it. But now, if you see what I'm doing, backwards flips, you know, handstands, I'm cutting and, up. And you got it. I, I got back on the track. It, it, there was, Ooh, it was hard. I made it over the mountaintop. You heard? Yeah, all right. There, there was no such thing as Twitter then. That's right. Six years ago. And I'm over 20,000 on Twitter right now. You're doing good. Oh, right quick, because I did, I did two concerts with Snoop that validated me. He that, back. That, that would do it. He back. Yeah, because <laughs> they started calling me Dog Pound Gangster right. and all. I'm like, wait a minute. All right, let's go. Uh, let's see. Another, for example, uh, Facebook wasn't around. Exactly. Um, MySpace had just been birthed. Right. Uh, and really was not popular yet. Uh, I heard about those things, but, you know, I was, ooh, we, I we didn't even use email quite right. often. You know what I'm saying? Right. 
Uh, there were people that were on the internet, yeah, but it was, was way yeah, too way too yet. slow then. Right. And it was landline. Right. That's uh, crazy. Uh -huh. And where can I find that? <laughs> oh no, no, I'm just saying. I'm just, all right, I'm, I, I kind of got to live it, yeah. <laughs> for real, that, man, that's incredible. I, this forum itself, you know, right. you know, you can make an itinerary for your life, man. Who, who that organized? Y'all, y'all very organized. I give y'all props. Y'all ain't playing. Y'all not gonna miss nothing. For real. So, as a matter of fact, I think right. you had just done Jazz Fest and set a right. record attendance. Right, right. Uh, you and Dave Matthews band, I believe, that, that particular man. day set and, and I'm Jazz sorry, Fest records. I still, I owe, I owe Jazz Fest. I apologize. When the people was announcing me, I was just leaving Baton Rouge. Coming to the stage, <laughs> Mr. Carter, man, the whole that no ball, just leaving. Come on, we got to hurry I, up. I was the host. I'll ride. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I was the host that I'm day. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I got damn hand on my so, business, you know, for real. <laughs> So, with that being said, right. um, from your perspective, uh -huh. you being the person that actually was away for that time, right? through your eyes, what does this new digital terrain and all of these different advances look like to you? It looked like a situation that, that if, if, you know, if you have enough sense and got enough get up and go, it's designed for you to win. Right. You know, because it's it don't, it don't you don't need a record company no more. You get on Twitter and blow your fans up. You now they gonna come get you. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's designed for you to win if if, if you can play your cards right. So do you feel like at this point, maybe you don't have to be with a record label? I'm I'm a superpower. I got superpowers. You know, I I need the power of the sun. Dun, 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 dun. I can fly sometimes. You know, what I'm talking about when I, when I really handle my business. You know, so to come home and and and. You can imagine six years. I, you know, I, I had swag before I left, but six years, that'll kind of put everybody draws in the bunch. You know what I'm right, talking about? Right, six? Right, right. So when I came home, I was six years behind. I came home in 2010, January. I was in the mind frame still of 2004, 2002. You know, I was in the mirror with them old-looking clothes on that Venso all day. I had muscles, though. I was fine, though. They, they let me slide. All I had to do was like that. I was in there. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, to, to have to make it through that. And, you know, they, they, they didn't even talk about me. You know what right. I'm saying? When I did that, they, you know, they understood what I was going through. I guess they felt like, who am I to tell them what the world that man made it through six years so mm -hmm. he could put on whatever he wants to, <laughs> you know? But eventually, <laughs> I called back on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So were you a little bit hesitant to get on the digital bandwagon at first? Of course. You know, I was still right now, I have, you know, I have trouble doing some of the things. You know, I'm, I'm not going to be you know, just blatantly disrespectful. Or, you know, I, no matter how much I curse in my in my music, if, if y'all hear me say the B word, yeah, excuse me, sorry, y'all. So if, if y'all hear me say that word, I'm saying it like you hamming a ham, you know, hamming a nail. You miss that nail and catch your finger. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. it. Just you know, just emotion and conviction. That's right. it. You know, I'm sure there are better words that that we can use, but sometimes, you know, darn it, just don't get it, man. Right. You know, so we, we apologize <laughs> for that. You know, it, it, it comes from deep within us. <laughs> you know, I'm serious. So what, what made you decide that, okay, I got to get with this new digital age? Was there, like, a turning point after you got home? Just time. You know, you, just a, a matter of seeing it for yourself. You know, because you can tell I'm, I'm uh, you know, I did it my way, so right, it's going to be right. hard to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always in a position where, you know, I'm, I'm open for suggestions and, you know, because, mm -hmm. you know, I, we, we don't know it all. You know, I'm not going to always be funny. You know, I'm not going to always win. You can't win them all. So, you know, just, just knowing that, keep yourself in that kind of position. And I eventually caught on to it. Right, right, you know, right. So, yeah, simple as that. Uh, what about the, the video, the videos? Because it was a whole different thing. Exactly. Uh, in, in the heyday of, of No Limit, uh, prior to you going in, it was always enormous budget videos. Right. We're going to have tour buses outside, and we're going to have, you know, all these extras. Right, right. and. And we need grippers, and we need all of this gaffers, everything for it. But now, yeah, yeah. like the video that went viral on you with you and Manny Fresh, with right. had over a million views, right. was shot with a little handheld. Right, and I had no idea. You did, so you didn't know that you were being I, shot? I, I know, yeah, I, I kind of knew it, but, you know, I, not, not to that degree. You know, I didn't know how, you know, you know what that viral was. Mm -hmm. You know, now I see exactly, you know, how, how quick and how fast it can get out there. So I understand how that goes. So now that you understand, you have some videos in, in the works? Well, that's, that's what we're going to do, y'all. Listen, it's, you know, first of all, the, the first year I came home, I had to really come home and readjust like y'all, you know, like I told y'all earlier. So mm -hmm. that, that was the main thing I had to do. But, you know, because if I would have came out, I would have came out, you know, 
a little out of, you know, a little out of touch. Right. And if right, I was right. out of touch with the fashion, I might have been out of touch with the music. So, mm -hmm, you know, I had mm -hmm. to get all the way back on the track before I really, you know, you know, start hitting the target that I was shooting for. So you have some in the works? Should we look for it anytime soon? Uh oh, coming. I got a song called That Woman. Y'all, y'all just be cool. When it come, y'all already gonna know what it is. Definitely. Okay, okay. Now, um, the is the label doing this? And, and are you still with the label? I, I still, I'm, you know, I still have their support. I'm just out in front right now. You know, I got I to gotta do certain things as an artist. You know, by things changing so much and, you know, it being so advanced, you, you have to, you know, spread your hustle. You got, you know, I got to do movies. You got to get these ringtones and, you know, merchandise and however you can, however else you can hustle. It's not just about dollars with the contracts no more because it's, mm -hmm. woo, the rap game, is, it took a hit. It, yeah. took, it must have took a hit with Katrina. What happened to it, man? What happened? It got locked up too. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> but but, but I, 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 man, I'm I'm not having that. You know, I'm, I I don't come through. I don't come through like that. Yeah. Nah, but <laughs> it, it's it's real, like, cause there was real money being made. Right. When No Limit was at its apex. Anytime you can sell 75 million records right. worldwide, that's right. an achievement in itself. And then to be a New Orleanian, right. That was a great thing and, for and me at that to time, champion. When Master P had that kind of money, boy, still had. Naps in the back of his head. That's just right, that was, right, that was right. impressive to me. I'm like, man, you keeping it real. Pick that a little bit though. Yeah. But now, you know how difficult it will be to sell 75 million records. Right. Like the game has changed immensely, and right. and I'm just wondering, like, how beneficial is a label uh, jive? And I know that you probably contracted on paper, but how beneficial to the to an artist that already has star power? It, it's it's a machine. You know, it's a, it's a machine that's already functioning and, and running. It has avenues for you to do everything, you know, that's desired of you as an artist to take that company to, to new heights and you as an artist, to, you know, to new heights. Mm -hmm. As simple as that. You know, but everybody have to be in that mindset. You know, if I, if I show up, you know, with all my superpowers and y'all feeling it while I'm there, but when I leave, I just turn back to, to a rapper with a demo. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, we're not seeing eye to eye. So the next conversation I have with my record company, they'll be in the position, you know, they'll be talking about me even talking, you know, springboarding mm -hmm. off of you know. Jumping well, jumping off it. Yeah. Let, me, let me just put it to you like this, too. Artists nowadays are doing it different. Right. Uh, and I'll just use two for examples. Uh, Chris Brown, uh -huh. who has done a series of mixtapes and actually had two number one singles right. for mixtapes. Right. That being the No BS song. And uh, additionally, Deuces was actually a mixtape song originally. Right. right. And it shot to number one. Uh, I just interviewed a, a group named Travis Porter from Atlanta. Right. Um, and they have a Make It Rain song and they have uh, another song, Back It Up or something like that. Right, right, right. Um, and I thought they were on their album. Exactly. But they weren't. Exactly. Those were mixtape songs you can, you as well. They had that kind of stand power and get nominations and win awards. National. Right. Distribution exactly. via the web. Exactly. Uh, international. Exactly. Um, and, and videos that hit all the video channels. Right. But right. I said that to say, it is a mixtape something that you are considering doing? Oh, definitely. I, matter of fact, I gotta, I'm, I'm going to put one out in June. See, the, the mixtape would be kind of a prelude to the album because uh, enough people didn't know I was home at first. You know, I, I like saw, still, I to, still today, today. If, you, if you see tweets and stuff, they, oh, what? He home? Man, I've been home a year, you know, because it's all, it's really an individual effort. Mm -hmm. Like I say, you know, the record company still support me, but I'm, I'm just in front of it. I got to do what I, mm -hmm. you know, I got to do what it take for me to stay relevant and, you know, stay, stay a part of the fabric of this music, music game because they need it, man, you know, because I come with the right kind of heart. They need it. So what's the mixtape going to be called? Fish Grease. You know, and I named fish it Fish Grease because it, it's going to be hot, man. It's going to be fervent. You know, a, a, a lot of depth to it. So imagine, you don't send nobody retarded away for six years, man. I was retarded already. And, you know, I, I just realized that when, when I came home, I'm like, man, they love me because, you know, I'm, I'm so articulate with my word play and I'm cold, but I'm just incredibly handsome. No, right. they right. love me. They love me because I'm retarded. I didn't okay. know that. Okay. Yeah. I'm a charity case. God forgive me. And, you know, no slight to anybody who has any kind of, you know, impairments. I, I love y'all, you know, but I'm special too. Yeah, yes, for you real. are. He said, yes, you are. <laughs> Yeah, y'all got a roof for me. Y'all yeah. <laughs> got a roof for me. You, you know, that's, uh, I'm, I'm not faking. I love y'all for real. <laughs> Any know? features on the fish grape? I fish got fish grease mixed the Fish grapes. Yeah. Uh, fish, fish grease. Gre yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Lil Wayne on there. I got, I got Fiend on there. Me and Busta Rhyme did a song so incredible. I, I, man, I, I thought I felt a tremor after we did that thing, man. I have some incredible music. A lot of the music was recorded, you know, really before I you know, was able to look around and get a, get a feel for what's going on out here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's relevant day and time and right, how right. things operate and how fast the world is spinning. Okay. You know, a lot of that I recorded before I knew thoroughly. It, mm -hmm. was, it was, you know, I was blind to, you know, what was, what was going on around me. So, you know, a after 
after I caught on and got back on the track, the music now is, now I know what I'm aiming at. You know, so it, it's going to be very deep and it's going to be very fun. Now, now, what's the method of distribution for this mixtape? Is it going to be you street know, hand to hand? Is it going to be digitally or di digitally, virally? However, we can get it out there. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm gonna let uh, various mix mix uh, tape uh, DJs host it, like okay. in Atlanta. Okay. You know, you know, pick a market and you know, pick it like that and kind of uh -huh. do it strategically like that, like like run, like running a campaign. You know, okay, for okay. real. I, 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 I got to give her, take pictures, and kiss babies, for real. I'm out here. Mr. Coming to your town, for real. <laughs> Vote for Mike. That, I mean, that's, that, that's, that's how it is, you know. My fans can't do no wrong, you know, to, just to they start doing too wrong, you know. Because right. you can't please everybody. You know? And so is it going to be free or for sale? It's free. It's free. This is a setup. See, yeah. because that would never have happened six years ago exactly. either. Exactly. That, that Music was not was given the, away six years ago. Y'all, that was the hardest part to let go, to come home and, I, man, we did albums, an uh, album worth of songs. It's, man, that's, that's lucrative for me, man. You know, and, 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 you know, before I left, mm -hmm. now to come home, I had to just get out of the way. I'm like, man, but, but you got to do it. So did you not want to do it? Did of you, course did you I did not want to do nail? it. Oh, y'all fighting it tooth and nail. I'm talking about your enamel was falling off my teeth. Oh, I can't. <laughs> That ain't right, yeah, man. That you know that 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 just wasn't how we did it, right? You know, so man, that was that was hard. That was. And I think, uh, and this is just my little personal opinion. Here that we go. I, I think that uh, it, it's gotten to the point where we've had to resort to the free downloads <sighs> to wash out all the crap artists, right? And to wash out all right. the crap deals that labels had with artists where right. they were 360 in them right. or, right. or maybe they were not doing, doing them right on paper. Right. And, and I really see like some changes coming back where music is going to be able to be monetized again. Right. But I think the model has to be changed. Right. And I think that's like a very important thing. I don't know what that model is going to be yet. Right. Because it's music and music changes so much and it takes so many different directions. Right. You know, it's hard to really, you know, try to, you know, strategically, you know, say how you can do it because it's going to do it itself. But, that's you know? but I, I think that's going to be where it's at. And, uh, right. Merchandising is going right. to be so and, much and I, bigger I never than the looked, music. I never looked at it like that, Wayne. That's a, that's a good way to look at it. You know, because really that's exactly what's going on, you know, because mm -hmm. we just take the approach. Oh, they flooding it, man. They just abusing our rap game. They just, you know, you kind of you kind of you kind of get in that mood. But, mm -hmm. you know, it is it, it actually going to bring it all the way back around, you know, and, and rappers going to have to start rapping again. And you're going to have to have some talent and, you know, mm -hmm. you're going to have to make it fun, or, you know, inflict, you know, get get some kind of emotion out to people. And that's good for you because exactly. you are rappers rapper. Exactly. No doubt. You know. Some some cash. Get, get by on a gimmick or what right, have no, you, but no, no, that, no. that'll play favorable to, to mystical. Big time. I guess that I guess that's why I want it like that, huh? Yeah, there <laughs> exactly. it is. There exactly. you go. <laughs> exactly. Now, um, uh, that was pretty much the crux of what I wanted to ask you about. And uh, um, if if you are gonna release something on your label, or will you follow the trend of a lot of other artists? Because you you said you got the mixtape coming, but as for an official album, is that something that you're even concerned about? Because Singles seem to be where it's at right now. Right, right. You know, I'm, I'm, of course, I'm uh, just have to pick a song and, and run with a song. Like just like the uh, the song that that DC and Q93 y'all supported, man. That mm -hmm. uh, that uh oh, mm -hmm. you know that 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 did you know that did a lot of good things for me. You know, it sparked a lot of things. That you know, it helped me on the road, and you mm -hmm. know, it it just it helped me get back on track. So are you are you really considering the album, or are you just I, I, gonna ride with the singles? The um, you know, the, the mixtape is, is is gonna is gonna do everything that I need to do. You know, mm -hmm. basically that's just letting them know that I am home. I'm out here. I'm finna make some incredible music. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm still a force to be reckoned with. Stop playing with me. Danger! All right, sorry. I, <laughs> Watch I was trying to keep. They say, look, don't be up there with all that rap, and I know I rap about eight times. <laughs> I, I I'll be trying to cut the mystical off, but this mystical interview, right? Right, right. Michael Tyler want to talk. Yeah, let this. I ain't playing. Stop, Michael Tyler. <laughs> mystical. I'm back. Uh, hello. Yes. Yes. And let, I ain't, you know. let him out. Put him in. Exactly. Let him out. Put him in. Let him out. Put him. In. Okay, I got you. I'm sorry, y'all. You know, I'm, I'm just I'm humble, man. I'm floored, man. <laughs> Let's go. Um, Try not to cry too. Go ahead. And, and when are, when are you performing for Jazz Fest? May the seventh. That's the same day Lauren Hill performs. It's it's gonna be an an, an incredible day. Y'all 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 looking at me with y'all eyes. Y'all see me up here. It's gonna get worse on that stage. Trust me. I'm serious, y'all. You know it's and 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 Wayne. It scares me sometimes. Cause when I do concerts, man, it be like church. Cause people be jumping around shouting, "I ain't playing." <laughs> One lady, she bowed all the way down. She got on the ground and she. She started bombing like she called Egyptian, she called yeah, like Egyptian god. Bar ran so far in that cone. I said, "Lord, now you know." <laughs> you hear, hear her, hear her cries, Lord. I got out the way. I said, "Miss, please, who you praying to?" I know, I know, not me, right. baby. When the last time you prayed to a sprite can? Oh, mighty sprite can. Yeah. <laughs> you might as well if you're gonna if you're gonna pray to me. Man, stop playing with me, man. I'm sorry. Go ahead. 
And we're back. Take them out, put them in. Take them out, put them in. Did that that have something to do with your question? Yeah, yeah, it did. All right. I'm sorry. I I just wanted people to know when you were going to be there, because last year, like, you got one of the best reviews of Jazz Fest when you and Trombone Shorty collaborated. That was retarded. And it was was, bananas. that, That was fun, man. That was... And, and see, at that point, I still, I definitely was blind. I didn't know what was going on. Right. I know my little outfit, I, what I had on. Guess, not to not, to not guess, but. Knock them. Yeah, no, I can't <laughs> knock them people because my whole class was guests, all plaids. <laughs> Miss, if you wear one more plaid, I'm not coming to no more concerts. I, I'm I, like, what? I ain't no. Shucks. <laughs> for real. It, it used to be loud. <laughs> exactly. So I, I was fresh, man. I was green. I, man. I'm talking about penitentiary built big at the top, small at the bottom. Yeah, I had, right. I, I burnt them little muscles off so fast trying to catch back on. <laughs> ah, boom, ah, bam, ah, Lord have mercy, retarded out here. Right. Whoa, Jesus. So, uh, I'm sorry. It yeah. was a good performance last year. Uh, it, it was fantastic, <laughs> man. Oh, I still didn't answer the question. <laughs> But didn't, but didn't I perform, though? I'm, I'm really showing you what you're going to get. I mean, what you want me to do? This is a, a trailer for the movie, all right? What, what, do, y'all, what do you want me to do, man? Um, that, that's pretty much uh, the extent of what I want to ask right, you about today. Because right. uh, the game has changed so right. much over the last right. six years. And, and I think it's important for artists to utilize it, whether they are newcomers or right. are vets in it. Because like, right. there's so many opportunities that weren't there before. Uh, social media can make or break an artist. Right. For no budget. Right. Uh, just, you know, labor hours, uh, uh, manpower. And, and that's like a beautiful thing. And, I, and I'm glad that you've embraced it. Thank you. Uh, after initially fighting tooth and nail. Yeah, I, I had to. But y'all, right. y'all, y'all seen the transition. Y'all seen the change. And I'm sure they whispered, man, did y'all see? I, you know, I, I bet you $20 you're going to come in here with a plaid on. You had to, man. Because I, I was. I was, was DC. So, and and I, I made an album called Unpredictable. You know, how you going to keep wasting the same shirt then? You know. So eventually I know y'all seen like, oh, all right. Well, he was looking kind of, all right. Yeah, y'all was working with me. See, he's changing. He's exactly. Changing. See, he changes. See, special, special. Y'all, y'all, y'all got to get that baby a hug. That's right. <laughs> Believe that. <laughs> but I think we were going to open it up for uh, some questions as okay. well. Okay. For Mystical. Uh, at, at this particular point, we have a mic right here. We have a mic on this side as well. Um, if anybody had some questions for Mystical. Please. I, I, no barriers. I, you know, I can handle it. Let's go. Anything. Do your thing. Don't be scared. Is <laughs> you gonna get served? <laughs> uh oh, Lord, he got an eyeglass. Hold on. Ask Wayne first. <laughs> Go through Wayne, and then Wayne, you come tell me what he want to know. Is that a contract? <laughs> it ain't that I don't trust you. I just no, don't I'm just trust you. I'm gonna give you an empty piece of paper. Sign your name on the bottom. I'll fill it in. Don't worry about it. Uh, see what I'm saying? There you go. <laughs> Yeah, you might want to take First these of all, I, Gucci. What? Um, I've been a fan for a while, but I wanted to welcome you home. Thank you, man. Thank okay, you man. so much. It's good to see you back, man. <sighs> Thank you, man. I first got turned on to your music by my friend Gary, who runs Odyssey, uh-huh. and a friend Karen that used to be at uh, QUE years ago. Right, Gary. Good, good oh, man. Good, good man. Totally. I stayed in his Karen matter Cortello. Fact, yeah, she matter of fact, I met Slick Rick friend. at one of his uh, signings at, uh, at, at Odyssey Records, man. Right. So, yeah, I owe Definitely. him for that. Definitely. Sure. I just wanted to say, man, when the sound that you were developing back then was just starting to generate in the streets of New Orleans, you were one of the first people to really bring it to the nation. So thanks right. a lot for Bounce, dude, because you were one of the first people to really Thank came you, man. Out. Thank you. That's all I wanted to say, but Thank I'm you, the man. fan. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. And, right. and it's ironic because that's kind of what I was combating, Bounce. But I, I was every inch of it, you know, I was because I was, I, was, I was made and I was created in that Bounce, in that bounce era. So, you know, talking about never gonna bounce, never, never gonna go. bow. Yeah. Wow. Next thing you know, me, that's who, me, me, I told you, me. You know, don't, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So, how do you develop your songs? You know, I, I, the music, you know, the music gonna talk to me, the music gonna tell me where it's supposed to go, and, you know, I just take it from there. You know, so, you do it with the track first, and then you yeah, do the writing yeah, afterwards? It's hard or, not, like, no, oh. so imagine that plight. Imagine, you know, being in, being in prison for six years. All right, I said it. Lord, have I'm out though. I made it. Right. So um, you know, being that six years without without really no tracks and gotta, you know, you gotta improvise. Mm-hmm. Right. I ain't playing with you. Me, me, that's who. who that? See, I can rap off that. Me, that's who. See, I sound like a beat, but that ain't not supposed to be my thing. I just you know, it, it, it get dry or you know, you just gotta. Uh-oh. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Go ahead. Go ahead, baby. Hey, darling. Um. When you do your songs, yes, ma'am. I've always had two feelings about it. When, and I'm kind of like you as far as the uh, digital world. I'm trying. I'm out right. there buying the Facebook for dummies and the Twitter for dummies right. and reading the book. Right. 
when I was in studio to cut my first CD, I, they were saying, lay tracks, lay tracks, and I was going, okay, what does that mean? And they said, in, you know, musicians come in individually, and then it wound up, probably because they all looked at me and went, she's never gonna handle this. We all went in together. And we got a better product. Just right. the, we all met in one the studio, and we just took the whole day and we cut it out. Okay. Do you believe in that, or do you s firmly believe in tracks where you show up at one point and just sing to the tracks? What's your opinion of one or the other? It, it it's more fun. There's beer with the uh, with the way I did it, but you know. It, it fluctuates. You know, the, the, the situation is going to dictate that. You know, the, you know, if, whatever way is easier for whatever point in your life is in that. That's how you're going to follow. It. You know, you don't, you don't have to. You don't have to be that cat. I'm sorry, y'all. You know, the, the situation, you know, is, is going to dictate that, honey. You know, so with, whatever situation that you're in, you know, what, whichever way it feels the best, that's, that's the way you go with it. No, I, I do it. I, I love it thoroughly all the way through, the bad, the ugly, you know, when, when it's in a drought. I, I do them both. I do them both. You know, I... I but, but I'm, with me and, and the inflictions, I'm going to put on my voice. I'm going to I'm gonna have to go with the separated, you know, and lay it like that, lay a track at a time and layer it. You know, I'm definitely going to have to rock it like that. You know, then that, then that way I can, you know, that's, I, can, I can fill my canvas up right like that. You know, there you go. Yeah, man. Uh-oh. This is all good, fam. Let's go. What's that? All right, knowledge is born. And um, we basically grew up listening to your words, you know. Thank you, man. Um, people all around the world got to experience you. But this was regular at the dinner table, you know. Right. This was bumping. We went outside to play football or just talk there, you know, going, going to school. Right. This is what we hear in the cars passing. Right. So I just wanted, wanted to hear you personally talk about the power of spoken word. Because I remember early 90s, you were saying stuff about yourself, and it actually came true. Right. And, exactly. and it actually started to manifest. What? Any artists I go in the studio with, they just speak words. They, they're not coming from a consciousness. Right. Knowing the power of these words, so I just right. wanted you to talk to all the artists in here about the power right. of the words right. and how they could put right. themselves in position. Right, right. That's I, I believe firmly in that. You know, my my partner Mac. Matter of fact, we were in, in prison together. He had a song, "I Want to Be Free." I had a song called "P Crook," and the P stands it don't stand for uh, for postcards. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was the, the P Crook. That you know, it was it was in good humor. It was a song about. You know, me, me having, you know, having it so vast, it should be a crime. You know what I'm talking about? I got so many women, that, sh that should be a crime. You know, just just a little vain, you know, lyrical cockiness, you know. And lo and behold, where you at all this? Lo and behold, you know, boom. Same kind of charge, same kind of, like, hey, what the hold up? Now, Lord, if you need me to take a vacation, I could have went to Hawaii, Jamaica, this, Lord. What, you, what do I need to come say here, see, or do up in here? You know, it so... <laughs> When you speak those things, be ready if they if they manifest themselves, and you know, be be, be ready to take it what what you what you said. You can handle that, you know. So, you know, you definitely got to be mindful of the words that you say, because I, I wouldn't want to say nothing to have nobody doing something that I that I wouldn't truly do. You know, they 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 have to understand that it's all in fun and you know, and, and it's an art form. You know, so be mindful of the things you say, fellas. Definitely artists, come from your heart. You know, come from, come from your spirit, man. You know, because, and first of all, you, you got to enjoy it. If you have true passion for it, then, you know, you, you'll be there through all the storms or whatever it, you know, whatever it takes to make it what you're trying to get. You know, so, but if, if you're just doing it to get a nice car or girl, you know, then ah, you're going to fall off anyway. So just just be true to yourself and true to your artistry, man. That's, that's, that's all I can tell you. All right. Thank you. Um. I wanted to know what your opinion on uh, copyright law and, and how recently like they've ruled that up to three notes is all it takes to sue somebody over a right. song and how <laughs> music in the past, you know, since the dawn of time has built upon itself and, and then how that plays out now in the, in the modern age when people tend to be sue happy and suing people and then also sampling and, and how that's changed since right. you've been gone and, and now people doing these mini sampling thing where they'll take tiny, almost unidentifiable samples from people and, right. and use them. The game, the game is to be sold, not to be told. <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about? So, I mean, that's, that's what definitely perpetuates the music, and that's how we stay alive, and that's how we, you know, that's, that's how we live on, but that ain't free. It, it's not free, so I, I guess it's fair to, you know, but, you know, as long as you're not being blatant or being, you know, vindictive or nothing like that, you know, as long, long as it's good business, then it's okay. 
you know. So just be mindful of the things that you use like that. But nowadays, a mixtape, if it don't blow up, you know, if it don't, you know, make no success, you can put anything. I could use Michael Jackson's whole Thriller album and just rap on top of it. <laughs> I'm Mr. Quinn Thriller. Yeah, I told you, Mr. Quinn Thriller. I told you. I can't do nothing, you know, unless, unless it get too big. Now, you know, uh-oh, now we got somebody we got to talk, you know. So, yeah, you, <laughs> as simple as that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's all right, my man. Hey, bro. That's all right, hey, my man. Hey, look, I'm you proud of you. need a hug, you, bro. <laughs> I'm proud Hell of you, no. man. Thank I just want to say I'm proud of you, man. Thank you, man. I opened up a show for you back in all uh, at Club Michelle's, man. That Ooh. was the last time I saw you. I know you. I crossed the that. river. Lord. Yeah, I crossed the river on the West Lord. Bank. Crossed the <laughs> How many? How many guns you had with you that night? Tell no, I ain't had none, bro. I was Ooh, sitting in the booth good, with you. <laughs> <laughs> man, yeah, I remember. Man. I just want to say I'm proud of you, man. I'm happy Thank to you, see man. you again. Keep it up, baby. I got you, man. You hold I, it down for I, me, baby. Man, hold me to that. I promise you, man. I'm about to shake deep. Teat out their face. Believe that. That's right, right baby. Through, I, yeah. got you. I got you. You sent a retarded back. man to prison yeah. for six years? All right. <laughs> now I'm institutionalized and retarded? I got you. Listen, bro, you're going to get your chance to say, I told you. Yeah. I know I told you. I've been told you. Not only can he not mess with him. No, no, I can't mess with him. He retarded. I told him, I got you. You're going to get your chance. That's real, baby. God so bless you. Get, put your tennis shoes on. All right, watch that. Don't, don't scuff them. Put your tennis shoes on. I got you. It's about you to get physical. We're hitting the streets, baby. Got to have the shoes I'm, on. I'm going to come through the door hitting the one no hand somersault. Huh, I'm out here. It's going to get physical. Cool. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Bart did that to Glenn Davis from the uh, from the Balti Celtics. Man, he almost knocked over the press leaving off my tour bus. I just, we, all we was doing was talking. Man, that ain't make no sense. What you say, soldier? What's up, man? Kodak, C-O-D-H-C. Man, like, you look like Fiend, man. Say, womp. Nah. He say, nah. That's <laughs> <laughs> like the same ring you had on that Ghetto Fabulous album. But uh, my question is. Yeah. Are you talking about this one right here? Yeah. Yeah, they retarded. That's my baby. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to retire sooner or later. If nobody wants to tell me. All right, y'all going to leave me alone. I'm going to give me some new stuff. Uh -uh. Leave it alone. My <laughs> question is, what's the most I important? I want to got to get Black Diamond with a purple stone. Right, nah, come on, man. This one. You better leave me alone. Now, what you say? What's the most important thing you learned working with Master P? <sighs> keep, you know, keep, keep your business first. You know, when, when you approach business with, with somebody, I don't care if it's family, I don't care if mama, your auntie, your nana. Approach it, you know, it's, it's going to be hard in, in that regard. But let's just say, you know, you and, you and another guy trying to, you know, you're interested in doing the same business. Approach it with, you know, with a full business mind and, and keep the business sharp. Because if, if the business is tight, then we can't help but to be besties. We're going to be BFFs forever, you know. But if we come in and try to be friends, now that kind of, you know, it, it kind of serves the business. So, you know, keep, keep your business tight. That's, that's what I learned from him, definitely. Um, first of all, thank you. I appreciate it. I grew up listening to it. Uh, I used to buy your records at Peaches. Ooh, burn man, how about Sharani? Sharani. Huh? Yeah, burn copies, too. What? Burn, hold on. <laughs> what kind of... <laughs> Listen, that's rat, man. You can't... <laughs> Hold that. You gonna tell me you stole it from me? Hold it. I didn't see it from you. You better talk to her. She was the one selling it. <laughs> Look, he still ain't stopped. She was the one that's selling it. You getting all that? Over here? Yeah. Yeah, her right there. Yeah, she had the Look, I, I still got the copy of it. I, you signed it and everything. I know I did. Boy, that's sad. How you, how you, you sign a bootleg? Easy. Too. Man, thank you. I love you, man. Thank you. Man. Yeah, you can't do no wrong. Don't do that no more, bro. Uh, when you got, uh, when you, when you went in, was there ever a point when you thought that you wouldn't get get back to where you are now, or? Hell yeah. What? I'm talking about Doughty sitting next to me like my best friend. What's happening, bro? Hey, what's happening? You all right? Yeah, you ain't going to do nothing. Oh, you tripping. You know, but, you know, God God been so good. So I, I think that's what keep me in check. I think that's what keep me balanced. You well, know, because I, 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 you know, I'm a, I know I'm going to win. You and know. now that you're out, is there something you, do you have, aspire to do something more than what you've done already? <laughs> Be more mindful of what what me and this guy, no me and the other guy talked about as far as you know words. the words that I say and the things that I say and not only that the things that I do, you know. So right on. Last one. Did uh, Yella ever get them braids? Or is that what's hidden under the hat? He he trying me. <laughs> <laughs> I said I burnt them off. They're still under that hole up. See that's why you got to be a certain size because they'll try your whole man. Hold on. That ain't bad for 40. <clears throat> I tell you, man, when, when, I, when I tell people that, it, 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 you know, I get such a, a, a crazy response because, you know, when, when, I, when I'm, you know, going about my daily goings and people recognizing that, like, mystical, mystical, hey, man, what's that? I'm like, hey, darling, what's up? My mom, I love you. And she's 29. <laughs> 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 I'm getting up there, huh? Let's go. Well.
Man, my grandma told me she loved you. That's a compliment, but golly. That's like that's like what I used to get like early 95 when I first, you know, made my mark. I, I, I used to go visit New York and try to, you know, promote my stuff. People recognize me. I'm like, uh oh. From Prada from the Rolanda show or what, you know, something on TV. They didn't recognize me. I'm like, what? You you got my music? Nah, I don't listen to that. Wait a minute now. You done stopped me talking about, hey, mystical, you mystical. I'm like, yeah, what's up? You like me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> You stopped me to tell me that? <laughs> Thanks. I love you. Appreciate that's, you. Yeah. That's New York. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the best record you've never got, for real. <laughs> but thanks. Man, you should be friends forever. Hey, uh, oh, I'm sorry, bro. Damn. Nah, you good. You good. You know, glad you're back out and all that. Thank you, man. Six years. Any artists you haven't worked with that you might be dying to just tear their ass up on a song? Damn, why you had to put the last part in? I was finna no, say somebody. No, I was gonna say it the quick. The only person you ain't burned, in my opinion, was busted, and I don't think you lost. It just was. Man, come on. Hold on, hold that shit. I think it was like. <laughs> Man, Buster came through that thing fighting. Now he pulled a chain out on me. That's what it was. See? See? He ain't really beat me, but I'm talking about, man, he was in the boot, and I, you know, I was, I was in that damn. Uh oh. Now nah, I'm gonna slip now. Man, I, I, was in that, I was in that boot, man, looking at him recalled, man, like, somebody stop him. Matter of fact, I, 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 matter of fact, I called Buster Ryan the other day, and I told him, I said, Buster Ryan, if you murder one more rapper in broad daylight, I'm coming get you myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm making a citizen arrest, man. This man has been doing some incredible stuff, you know. Yeah, especially after they counted him out. What? Man, he bust through. I'm talking about he went through another mother moth, mother moth, meta, a change. The, the, yeah, he yeah. went through another change. <laughs> he changed. <laughs> For real. So, you know, Snoop Dogg, I did, I did two. Man, make, if, if, if you think Snoop Dogg cool, where you at? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what do Snoop Dogg? No, I can't say that. Uh, give me a bow wow if you know Snoop Dogg cool. He was I said, give me a bow wow if you know Snoop Dogg cool. See what I'm saying? Give you can't just do that. Yeah, for real. <laughs> now, I got a little cousin, Ray Ray. He rap good. Make, say, uh, Ray Ray cool. See, they ain't gonna really say that that much, yeah. It, it take a certain name to make you really, I'm not finna wait, yeah, Ray Ray cool. Who the hell is Ray Ray? I don't know. <laughs> but, when, but when I say a Snoop Dogg, I did two concerts with him. You know, the man blew my Twitter uh, th uh, high, higher than 20,000, you know, just because of the web presence that he has. You know, Snoop Dogg got to be easily the most recognizable, you know, rapper in the rap game on, on the planet, period. Yeah, you and know? look for that YouTube, because they got it up there with for real. Warren G uh, uh, and the also before, Dog Pound. The day before... At Tulane. <laughs> the, the day before he died, man. The day before. Before Nate Dogg passed. The, the day before Nate Dogg passed, man. You know, they, they, they was in Baton Rouge, and we was at a, at a, a spot called a Varsity, man. It was, it was magic, man. Oh, it was, it was just, you know, it was just that feeling of, you know, <sighs> reuniting and brotherhood, man. It was good, man. Oof. Wow, wow, wow. So y'all y'all really look out to, you know, for me doing things with Snoop Dogg and Buster and, you know, doing, doing some real crazy stuff, man. It's about to be fun. I'm talking about movies, stage plays, whatever. We, well, we, real quick while we're talking about that, any of the newer artists, the right. young artists that are right. out here that have maybe just kind of blown up on the scene after right. you got out that you'd right. like to work with? Right. See, I, I can't really pick nobody because now all the rest of them are mad. Yeah, so whoever, who, whoever, <laughs> yeah, you, you got, I told you I got to be a politician. Yeah, you keep setting me up. Well, come on, Wayne. I'll be talking about fighting. I don't really want to fight. Hey, sweetie. Hey. What's that? Number one, you retarded. I know. <laughs> I know. I had to. But that, that's how I made it. You know, I, I embraced it. I hugged it. I wore my little retardation. Ah, you, you know, I'm, I'm out here, man. I ain't tripping. All right, number two. Okay. My cousin, Who's Calvin that? Johnson. He played tenor sax for you. <sighs> Where at? Here. Calvin Johnson. He'll be playing with you. For jazz oh, jazz. oh, for the yeah. My, which one you need is? to know who your peeps are. Hold on, <laughs> I'm trying to see his face. Yeah, can we be cutting up, man? Let me see. Last time we was in Australia. Wait, no, that was. Let me see. They had a midget. No, that's the wrong time. <laughs> see, but you, but you got you got to realize how you know. He's a little darker than I. Am. I got him. I know you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what's messing it off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And she's trying to wonder why I can't catch on. Boy, that's cold. So you gonna you gonna play with my retardation? Let's go. Give him this. You put the little card up. What do you see? All right, I got you. All right. Okay, keep playing. I wanted to know how you felt. Like my brother. Okay. Wants you to come throw down Sunday night with him. Where at? And I wanted to know how you felt about playing with different genres like jazz, for example. What? I, it's, it's man. I have. So, 
I'm telling you, when, when y'all hear this, this body of work that, you know, that, that has been recorded and, and some of the songs not even recorded yet, when y'all when y'all hear this body at work, y'all know it's gonna be, you know, special for well, real. Well, you have a special In invitation a to come Sunday night. Marlon Jordan. Okay, if I'm not too tired, you know, if I ain't too wild, because I I'll leave everything on that stage. Thank you, darling. Come here. <laughs> and he's fine. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. You see what I'm saying? I, I had to come on to that, man. You know, that they got they got people that leave for for you know six months and people forget about them. You know, they got people with new dad, people with songs on the radio all day and every day. And after I got off the stage, you know, the thrill is gone. It was, you know, for real. Not, no, not, not, not trying to say I'm all this and all that, but, it, you know, it, it's a different feeling that I put out there, man. You know, it's, and, and that's, 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 that's all it is. Anyone else want to dig into the mind of mystical? Please do. Let's see. Let's test it. Let's see. Ask me something. If I don't know, I bet you I can play it off good. Watch. I, I know somebody. How you know? You read my mind. Are you a psychic? It? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I got to me too. What's, What's happening? up, homie? Welcome home. What's up, Thank Wayne? you, man. What's up, so J Lyric, True Records. What's happening, I've so been a fan since I'm not that you know what. Thank and you, man. I had to sneak out the house, my mama's house, to go get it from Odyssey in the East, but that's another story. Okay, anyway, okay. Um, Don't go down. See, that's bad know, stories, huh? I just want to know your mind frame, because it's like, as a fan, right. you'll buy No Limit CD. Right. And the first question is, what song Mr. Let's go on. Right. I mean, what was your mind? I know you was mindful of that, but. Hell, I mean, I, it, it's, it's always going to be competitive, so I'll be lying if I say I wasn't trying to chop everybody in the mouth. I come right. through the door, do a double sweep, kick, sweep somebody, boom, boom. The ground is hard, isn't it? I know. Right. That's why I don't be down there much. You're tall. That's okay. I'm fine to the side. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You're rich. I have talent. What? You got gold chains and jewelry and rings? Watch this. Cut the lights off. I start glowing. Mm, you can't beat me, fool. You can't mess with me, man. But that's that's where I'm at. You know what I'm talking about? I got one more quick question. Yeah. What's on? Um, you with me? I'm with you. you with, huh? What's the, what was the transition from being an artist to, you know, big truck and being your own, you know? The, the transition from, from, from being an artist to a company? Yeah. I, I still haven't fulfilled it yet. You know, I, I just talked about it a lot, and it's, it's manifesting. Like like he said, if you say it, you can speak it into existence. You know what I'm saying? But I, I spoke a lot of other things that, you know, might have just been frivolous. You know what I'm talking about? Just just showing off with my skills. Picking up calls for nothing. You know, if, if you're that strong, you, I don't just have to pick up a Volkswagen and say, hey, baby, what you doing later on? Want to have a beer? I don't got to show off that hard. No. You know, because cause if I possess that, she's she, she going to see it automatically. You know what I'm talking about? So just stay real, pimping. Sure. And, and to really answer your question... <laughs> I haven't fulfilled it yet, you know, but I, you know, I, I'm ready for it now. I, I wasn't ready prior to, you know, going through what I just went through. Right. Now I have, you know, all the tools needed. All right. Appreciate you. You're welcome, man. Thank you for that question. <laughs> Sir, bro, you can't be laughing, man. You're tripping. <laughs> hey, did you want to tell him anything about uh, your experiences uh, having been a track uh, act for so many years and then when you came home? performing with the live bands. Uh, you did House of Blues, New Orleans, House of Blues, Dallas. Right. Uh, you did uh, a number of right. a number of live events. What's right. the difference, personally, between performing track dates in, in the live bands as a hip hop artist? A live band, you know, opposed to a digital track, man, that's, ooh, Lord, that's like, that's like a, a picture next to a movie, you know, to a moving picture. You know, it, that, that, that live band, that, that is moving now. You know, everything is, is, is how it's supposed to be. Everything, everything is played manually. That, you know, that right. puts a different element of it because it, it takes a certain skill to play a guitar or a keyboard or to sing in a certain key or to be on pitch. And I'm a damn rapper. Why I got to do all that? Right. I'm just a rapper. I'm, I, ain't, I ain't never said I want to be in no choir, you Craig. I just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why Wayne, I want to just be a rapper. So that, that sometimes it makes it difficult when I'm writing my music because, I'm, you know, I'm actually writing notes like a, like a damn in instrument. You know, so I'm like, man, why this, oh, it, it ain't landing, it got to be in the right note, you know. If it ain't live, it ain't me. Oh, it's because I'm too deaf to do, I'm like fake singing because I can't sing, but I'm faking it. I can fake it good, you know what I'm talking about. I'm too cold to get, oh, I'm too hip to trip. Now, you ask me, could you hear a little sample? You sure you're ready? Now, you ask, all right. Now, and you just said something about a band. Yeah, there it is. Rob Shaw, that would be stupid. If somebody just sitting down and they hear this on their radio, what the hell that was? Right. I don't know. Man, what you, what you mean? Something went, bam! I 
I don't know. K pass the people, K pass hit me. Bam. That was me that you missed. I'm the one that been missing and wishing for listens. All commands would be coming from the goddamn tower. Hit me. Bam. I'm the maestro. I'm the brother with the stick in this here. A ranger, director, conductor. Any other effing name you could think of. Hit me. Bam. I got drums in here. <laughs> Tom, Tom, um, um, congos and bongos and guitars, keyboards and cymbals and horns up in this here. Look, uh, 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 uh. he wow, like he come from the wild kind of stuff that they ain't heard on the box in a while. Even the white people sitting up in this wonder, he didn't want to do nothing but say, wow. You hear that, Helen? He's tearing it up, that fella. I love to get my hands on those aqua pillars. That brother sticker and slicker than Earl on a pillow can shh, shh, on the one. Me and the band jelly like Elvin and Costello. We go together like stanky and smelly, tummy and belly, peanut butter jelly. That's a fool there. Mama said, that's my groove there. Help the dump stick, kill it with the drum, and give it to the brother with the drumstick. Hit it. Flipping on a record like an acrobat. Can't stop it because it's something that I'm natural at. Even in the wake of my aftermath, I curse you out using my alphabets. Watch. A B. CD pictures, L to me, no pictures, O S T R, hit it, dun, 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 dun. you don't know where you at, you know what I'm talking about, but it's, it's different and it's unique. <laughs> they don't do that. Thank you. That was exclusive. <laughs> I got a question. Um, What's that? 13th Ward. Um, as a uh, as a rapper or as a hip hop artist, um, other genres of music wow. have a um, a sensibility of a singer songwriter. Do you ever think of yourself outside of that, or do you think of yourself as a singer songwriter? No, I see myself with the with the headset on and the thing. All right, cut. All right, from the top of it to the this is what we're gonna do all the way to the Martina shot. You know, that's I, easily I'm right, talking about it. And right. motion picture videos, whatever I'm doing, stage, right. wherever. Do you? Yeah, it, it, we, we've talked about, you know, your influences, you know, modern day, but when you were growing up, um, you know, I'm 40 as well, and there was... Uh, Look good, too, right? so... Thank you, I appreciate no it. No homo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. It's uptown living, baby. <laughs> Gotta say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, to, what were you know. your influences when you, when you were young, when you were coming up? Um, what, what were the things that uh, influenced you? Was it, was it just your friends, or was it the music that you were hearing on the radio, or was it the music that your mother was playing think, on, the, on, the, think, on the stereo? I think... The LL part was influenced by friends that were like in LL, and even with Tupac, friends that were like, because I was like, I don't know. But Slick Rick and Doug It Fresh, I got them myself. Uh, Ice Cube and Slick Rick and uh, 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 Scarface, you know, I, I, I felt them myself. Even Fresh Prince, you know, you know, di different ones had different Method Man and, and Red Man. Them, yeah, we we like brothers from different planets, you know what I'm talking about. So especially Ludacris and you know guys like that, but. But 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 who the main one was LL and, and probably Slick Rick the storyteller in the battle rhymer. I think that's me. I appreciate it, man. Um, Thank you, you man. You uh, influenced me in my college years, and I appreciate it, man. What you talking about? Still smoking now? Pop pop, blow it up! I know, I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> I just told him, man, we on parole. Yeah, we on paper, man. We can't. Man, you can't even be around each other. That's for real. <laughs> I was curious, as a fellow veteran of Iraq and Kuwait, how. Ooh. Your military experience inspired you or motivated you as far as music goes? It, 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 just, it, it just allowed me to show up with, with hair on my chest because I was a slow sprout. I'd look, y'all, y'all, look, I'm talking, telling personal stuff, y'all can't tell everybody. You know, in the 10th, 11th grade, I ain't had no help. This ain't, I know this is a rough subject, but I ain't had no people, I ain't had no public help. We'll call it public help. I still use the eyebrow pencil. You know, most people, most people had their stuff. I'm like, man, what's God? Why you, why you slowing me down? I want to grow now, you know. But, you know, he had to save me. He had to save me for these times right here to do this, you know. So I'm here, man. I, I, I got all of it. I got, not, you know, I know you don't care. <laughs> I, not to tell you that, but, you know, I'm out here, man. You know, I just got a few scuffs on my antlers. <laughs> I've been through. <laughs> yeah, but, I'm, you know, I'm out here, for real. You know, I'm supposed to be reckoned with. Stop playing with them. Yes. <laughs> Cause oh one more thing before we go I know we wind, I know we winding it down but I, I uh you know I just want to let let everybody know out here that supported me you know while I was gone thank you I love y'all for that you know who just showed me any kind of regard you know so you know man I'm I'm home and I want y'all to know everywhere I go 
I, 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 I feel like all of y'all are looking at me. My mom and them watching and my aunts are watching. So, you know, when, when they look at it, they, I, I want them to be able to smile. I, I remember I went to Tampa Christmas and I hit the stage. I thought I just told you, put you in the blender. I ball you up and fold you. It was like, all right, okay, you probably would put you in the blender. You know, it wasn't really moving. Them. I, I had to fuss. I said, y'all, this y'all fold them up here, you know. It weighed 95, y'all embraced me as an uh, artist for real and put me on, and, you know, y'all did that. So when I come out here, y'all acting like y'all letting y'all cheeks get touched like Bruce Lee fist. I can't, hey, y'all can't be that tight. Y'all need something to drink, something to smoke, you know. And then I play, it ain't my fault. I say, well, you know, all I can say is God let me out, so don't blame it on me. Ain't my fault came in on and they started dancing. I say, uh uh, don't dance now. Cut it off, Kev. Yeah. I thought y'all was too cool. The men didn't want to be, you all on this jock, and the women didn't want to be, she's going to be a. Uh, Oh, excuse me. You know, if she dance or, or, or you know, vibe to my music, you know, so they didn't. You want, broke them down. Yeah, yeah, stop playing. Mm -hmm. this, this is just real fun. That's all it is. There it is. There, there it is. So, and that's what I'm going to continue to do because I love y'all and, and I wouldn't expect y'all to expect anything less from me. I love y'all. And before we round up, I'm the truth, man. I'm, I'm, I'm real. How can they follow you on Twitter? Which, it's mystical. At it's mystical. mystical. ITS, no apostrophe, no none of that. Facebook? ITS, mystical. Something on the Facebook, I don't uh, Ask Shana. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Website? It's mystical at Twitter. Yeah, I can't get you my, my Gmail. It's already clustered up. Clutter, clutter. There I'm it is. Throw that little iPhone in the, road, in the Mississippi. I'm telling you, man, don't call me. Ooh, they're getting on my nerves. But thank you, Lord. I appreciate it. I know. I'm, but it just, it's different doing this 40 and not in the 20s and 30s no more. Right, yeah. right, right. I, now, do y'all know I take me a nap before a concert? I ain't trying to. <laughs> Rob, do I take a nap? Got my pawpaw nap. <laughs> you tripping, man. <laughs> but when I, but ooh, when I wake up, boy, don't play with me. I'm telling you, then I done slimmed up. You know, yeah, but, but I'm quicker in case somebody starts something and I got to run. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, for real. But let's go. Let's go with Conversations with Mystical at I love Sync Up No Love y'all. Love y'all. I was entertained just as much as y'all was. I'm sorry. I apologize, bro. <laughs> Thank you. That was Wild Wayne and Mystical. We're going to take five minutes. We're going to reset the stage, and then we'll be right back with our panel.